everybody, this is Stacy. I'm back with another little share for you today. Um, challenge accepted. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about Nick the Booksmith's Deserted Island Challenge. And shout out to everybody who is over from the Facebook page. Hey! <laughs> Anyways, so um, some of you know I've been following Nick for a while, making journals using her uh, tutorials, which are fantastic. And she gave us a little challenge that I thought I would try. Um, it was called the deserted, or it is called the deserted island challenge. And so basically you're stuck on the deserted island. You have limited resources to make a journal and, um, yeah. So let's see what you come up with. So we were, oh, and before I get into this, I have to say, um, her playlist, which I will leave a link down below in the description box, she's got about... Oh gosh, there's probably about 70 videos, I think, when I looked this morning. There's probably somewhere around 70 videos um, for this challenge. And um, they are fantastic. You guys are doing a great job. Everybody has been so creative and every journal couldn't be more different from the next. And I've really enjoyed watching all of your videos. Um, so I just want to let you know that awesome <laughs> anyway so let's get into it so for those of you uh, my regular people that might be watching this um, here's how here's how the rules go we were given f everybody was given four items that they could use um, a glue of their choice any type of glue they could pick some type of needle and thread it could be jute string you know uh, yarn whatever but some type of needle and thread something to cut with of course um, obviously I chose scissors and um, paper, one type of paper of your choice. And I chose, uh, I chose, excuse, excuse me, coffee dyed paper, coffee stained paper, however you want to say it. And then we were all given four items of our own choosing to actually make our journal with. Um, and that was tough for me because I am so indecisive. It takes me forever. <laughs> so, um, the items I chose were some of this, um, sorry, silk ribbon and a roll of washi tape, a piece of paper out of the wallflower paper stash from Tim Holtz ideology. Oh, sorry about the glare there. And my cover. So I've mentioned before that I paint and I was bored one day about a month ago and I was doing, um, I just want to sit down and do something. So I thought, oh, I'll make a mixed media collage. And so this was the piece that I did. And when I was done, I didn't like it. <laughs> so I threw it in the stack of all the other paintings that I either paint over or repurpose. Well, this one either had to go in the trash or get repurposed because um, there was no way I was painting all, over all of this. And here is the frame. I literally cut it off the frame, as you can see here, and made it my cover. So the first thing I did after I cut it off the frame was I figured out the size of it according to the paper that I was going to put in. And then I took my scissors and opened them up this way and used them to uh, rough up the edges so you can see um, the edges are kind of funky now this works because um, this is acrylic paint and there's also acrylic matte medium over this and um, acrylic paint is basically plastic you guys and to show you that I have done this before here's a little prototype for a bag that um, I made this was an ocean painting that I wasn't happy with but it wasn't mm, it wasn't destined to be painted over so I did this little prototype for these bags and um, made a bunch of them and gave them out at Christmas time so anyways so that's the cover that was my fourth item um, a little repair work down here because when I took my scissors I actually cut through this on accident but I like I like the little patch job another little patch job here um, the card was thick and it started to crack so I did it there, but you know what? I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So my sorry sick ribbon for a closure. And um, this will be real quick because there's not much in here. There was only the four items. So um, pocket here. And what I did was to, um, I made a really <laughs> bad template with my needle. <laughs> 
and um, because one of my signatures is crooked, but uh, made a really bad template with my needle and uh, sewed those three signatures in here that are 10 pages each, sewed them into a piece of the canvas that I had cut off, or sewed them onto rather, um, and then glued that all down and then put the, uh, what do you call it, the coffee stain paper over the top so you can see the edges. Um, anyway, so back to it. Uh, tuck spot here, washi tape here. There's a lot of black, blank, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. Yeah, there are a lot of blank pages in here because we're limited. Did I say that already? I don't know. You guys know me. Oh, I'm out of my mind. Okay, so coffee stain paper, it's lovely. Uh, made an envelope here. And a little booklet here with some paper scraps and stuff and a little bit of um, the designer paper and that uh, ribbon to hold it closed. Uh, more washi, fussy cut bird, more washi here, kind of wraps around and I tore it. I did, I did the tear thing because I just think it looks better. Um, then this was out of the, the wallflower paper and it was a dressmaker um, guide and so I took a piece of that. Um, it actually came off the end of one of these. It was kind of like this and it fell off the end so I just glued it down and because I, I thought that would be cute. Uh, another tuck spot here and then I cut some paper or elements out of the paper to make a um, kind of like a specimen card, I guess. So there's like a little number here and part of a little chart and stuff. And it says plant down here, P-L-A-N-T-E, plenty, <laughs> it says plenty. <laughs> um, there's more washi and um, a little tab that I folded over the page. More washi, do do do, a little Another little tuck spot here, another little tuck spot here. And I would have made more stuff to go into the tuck spots, except I only had like 30, I don't know, four pieces or 35 pieces of this coffee uh, dyed paper. So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna dye anymore. I'm just gonna use what I have. So moving on, there's another little tab with the alphabet. More washi wrapped around the page. And then this was a JP Coates um, thread guide. And so I took some of the thread that we were allowed to use and I just kind of scrunched it up and glued it behind there. And let's see, more blank pages. Here's a pull out that I made. Something to write under. Here's another one. Just yeah, something fun. Something fun. Something fun, something fun. Okay, and there's another little tab there. More of the paper. I'm trying to use up all the paper I could. Um, here's another little specimen card. It's a butterfly here and another little number and another little piece of a chart and a tuck spot. And more washi. And do 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 do. Oh, here's another little deal I made. Uh, so this is the piece, uh, one of the pieces of the canvas. So I just put that back behind there, piece of the paper, and this folds out this way. And this is kind of like a pocket deal. And then it opens that way. And then here's more paper. There's more washi. Whoa, there's another little tab. There's some more from the paper that I just kind of layered or collaged. And that's it, more washi back there. Um, but I have to say, this was an interesting challenge and I'm gonna leave, if I didn't, I probably said this already, but you know, I don't remember, I always repeat myself. I'm gonna leave the link to the playlist for this challenge below because I think this is a great way to um, make a journal out of, um, if you have limited budget or limited resources, you can totally, this is totally doable. And everybody has such great ideas and everybody, it's just great, it's fabulous. Um, so I will leave that link below and you guys can check it out for yourself. And um, yeah, 
So happy Friday. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. You all be good, be safe, and I will see you back here real soon. Thanks. Bye.